Issues surrounding the National Gas Company, NGC, have arisen even before the inception of its services. The previous importers of the liquefied petroleum gas, LPG, namely Gas Tamza Limited, Southern Choice Butane, and Belize Western Energy Limited, have registered their concerns with the NGC and the monopoly it would create. They have taken the government to court and have filed a constitutional claim for which no court date has yet been set. In the meantime, they filed an interim injunction which would stop the government from refusing to issue their LPG importation license. This request was denied by Acting Chief Justice Michelle Arana. Audrey Matura, one of the attorneys for the LPG companies, explained to us that her clients had no idea of what was to come prior to August 2019 when the National LPG Project Bill made its way through the House of Representatives. Fast forward to today, and they're now being held at ransom, she explained, since the government would not issue their license. My advice to them was that they should bring a constitutional case because the act, the act number 12 of 2019 that creates this monopoly, because that's what has happened, they create a monopoly. The act that creates the monopoly basically is saying that one, under section five, that the exclusive right to import is given to this monopoly company. Two, the monopoly company is being treated differently and specially and favorably under the law against our clients. That's what we're saying goes against your constitutional right. Three, the um, monopoly company gets a tax holiday there are certain taxes they don't pay at all before operation and after operation date, they still don't pay certain taxes. According to the National LPG Project Act, the taxes that the NGC will be exempted from prior to operation are those imposed under the Business and Income Tax Act, General Sales Tax Act, Customs and Excise Duties Act, Stamp Duties Act, Customs Regulation Act, and the Exchange Control Regulation Act. Additionally, they will also be exempted from environmental taxes. After their commercial operations date, they will continue to be exempted from the income and business taxes. The Project Act also states that the NGC will be able to choose its own pricing. Um, for the, this monopoly company you now is not regulated by the Supplies Control Act. So the Supplies Control Act, that is bad news for the consumers. It means that your monopoly company can now bring in LPG and the government does not dictate a control price. Of course, if you are going to be the middleman, you have to add your profit and put your overheads and expenses and whatever taxes. So the end product of the consumer, the uncertainty of what that price will be, is one of the amazing things. Matur explained another reason for filing a constitutional claim. The other point is that the government also said basically to our clients, if you want to continue operate, you can operate as a distributor, but you must buy from this monopoly company because only they can bring in the product. You can't get it anywhere else, even if you could get it at a better price anywhere else. They're forcing you to tell you with whom you have to do business. I broke it down like that for you because what it means. It means that under the Constitution, you have a right to choose the work you want, or the business or trade you want, freely. Section 15 of the Constitution. Under Section 13, you have the right to decide who you want to associate with. Nobody can tell you who you have to do business with or who you have to sell with. Under Section 6, you have the right to equal protection of the law, meaning the same way the law to protect them and give them privileges, you have that equal right as well. So that's another constitutional claim that we are making. Another issue that Matura highlighted had to do with the commencement of services by the NGC. According to a letter dated February 28, 2020, to Matura from Jose Trejo, who is the controller of supplies at the Belize Bureau of Standards, the NGC was expected to commence commercial operations on May 1st. However, in a letter dated May 4th, Gilbert Canton, the managing director of the NGC, wrote to the administrator of Southern Choice Butane Limited and stated that, quote, 
We now await the requisite approvals from the government of Belize, including the approval of a commercial operation state. End quote. This means that, up until Monday, there was still no date for when the NGC would start its services. They're saying they're waiting for the government to approve their operation date. And we asked them also to not only say when they'll operate and be able to, well, we knew that they were to operate the first. We were saying, how soon can we get up the product from you and at what cost? They have not answered that question in their letter. They went around all kinds of explanations, and we can give you a copy of their letter. But they have not said, okay, we have um, available the product at this price. This is our bulk price and we can deliver it to you by an expected date. So the dilemma we're in is that our clients are relegated to only buying from the monopoly company. Mm -hmm. The monopoly company is saying, I can't give you the price. That's what they've said indirectly, and I can't tell you when I can deliver anything. The constitutional claim was filed on April 6, and as previously mentioned, a court date is still not set. According to Matura, constitutional claims are urgent matters, and the first hearing should take place no later than four weeks after the filing of the claim. Monday would have made four weeks. We are continuing to follow this story. Reporting for Love News, I am Courtney Menzies.